This video is closed captioned. Montenegro might be one of Europe's smallest countries. Still, this gem on the Adriatic Sea is packed to the gills with beauty, splendor, and plenty of activities to keep you entertained along with anyone else you're traveling with. The narrow strip of coastline is perfect for relaxation with your favorite warm weather cocktail. Rugged mountains offer an escape for those who want to explore new landscapes, and historic old towns welcome visitors to wander quaint cobblestone streets and alleys. Hey travelers, Anthony here from Travel Droner, and welcome to another video. Today we'll show you the 10 best places to visit while you're in this country. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. Number 10. Hersig Novi This seaside town is Montenegro's northernmost and lies close to the Croatian border. This picturesque town is known as the City of Flowers and boasts an impressive array of flora. The architecture has been influenced by Baroque, Byzantine, Roman, and Oriental styles. Kick back under a fragrant citrus tree, or rent a kayak and traverse the Bay of Koder to explore Rose the fishing village opposite Hersek Novi. You can also explore decaying wrecks and derelict submarine shelters on the open water. Since Hersek Novi is often bypassed for more resort-heavy locations to the south, it's a great place to take a leisurely stroll along the promenade that follows beaches, plenty of restaurants and small stands where locals sell fruit and other local specialties. Number 9. Ostrog Monastery this location is particularly unique. Ostrog Monastery is tucked into a cave in the side of a nearly vertical mountain cliff face, a seemingly impossible site for a building, let alone accessing it. But there it lies, a bright white building that served as a refuge against the Ottoman Empire throughout the 17th century. The building's founder, Sveti Vassier, is buried within the monastery and he was sainted posthumously. Beyond the impressive facade of the building, two churches exist further in the cave and are decorated with ornate frescoes, including some painted directly on the cave walls. As many as a million tourists and pilgrims visit this holy site each year. Number 8. Ulsing Montenegro has many seaside towns with charm, history, and sites worth seeing. Ulsing is one such town. The old town sits upon a large, rocky outcropping perched above the harbor. The uninterrupted views of the Adriatic Sea made it a perfect place for a fortress designed to protect the region. The Museum of Local History in Ulsing allows visitors to peer into the past with examples of the ancient residences and tools the area's first inhabitants used to survive. Old Town is also home to Small Beach, flanked by a natural harbor, marking it an ideal spot for a quiet picnic or an afternoon read in a lounge chair. The aptly named Long Beach lies south of Ulsing and is an even nicer spot to unwind. An expansive shoreline also quite wide accommodates many tourists during summer travel. And because this area is packed with tourists each summer, it's an ideal spot for modern amenities like beach bars and restaurants. And if you're looking for wildlife, be sure to explore the wild flamingos at an old salt factory that's morphed into a nature reserve. In less than an hour, you can walk to this magical reserve or hop in an inexpensive cab and save your steps. Number 7. Biogradska Gora National Park the UNESCO-protected Biogradska Gora National Park is a paradise for outdoor activity and welcomes all who visit. The volcanic landscape provides gentle mountains covered in lush grasses, several glacial lakes, and unpaved mountain roads that are perfect for exploring with an SUV or mountain bike. Where many national parks and places like the United States are protected from human and stock animal impact, the summer pastures of Biogradska Gora provide fertile feeding grounds for Montenegrin highlanders that allow cows, sheep, and more to graze. Here you can see how locals sustainably coexist with nature. Additionally, you can expect to find traditional homemade foods from the locals that call this area home. You can find delicacies in the highland or the restaurants surrounded by the park. And the local cuisine relies heavily on locally made cheese, bread, jams, honey, and plenty of red meat. A lack of light pollution makes this a phenomenal place for watching the night sky and the grandeur of the Milky Way. It's easy to forget just how many stars are out there when you live in heavily populated areas. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey world worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Number 6. Mount Lovejan National Park 
If you want to exchange gentle green landscapes for imposing sawtooth mountain ranges, look no further than Mount Lovejin National Park. It is perfect for thrill seekers and outdoor enthusiasts and offers its fair share of history and culture. The park's namesake mountain, Lovejin, is the inspiration for the local name for the country, Black Mountain. The region was also one of the few Balkan areas that consistently held back Ottoman Empire forces. And during World War I, it was only after the mountain was captured that Montenegro raised the white flag of surrender to Habsburg forces. The park's second highest peak is also the eternal resting place for Negos, an integral figure in the modern history of Montenegro. Number 5. Lipa Cave. This cave system is one of the largest in Montenegro and was discovered by accident. A poor dog fell through a hole in the ground right into the cave. Thankfully, it could get out through another opening, but the Lipa Cave quickly became a thrilling tourist destination for anyone with a taste for adventure. Even getting to the cave is a thrill. Small train ferries passengers through the countryside, past wild fig and pomegranate trees before delivering them to the cave's entrance. Once at the cave, a guided tour spanning a little over two miles reveals impressive passages, stalactites, stalagmites, and the underground river that has helped carve out this cave system. Number 4. Coder Coder might be one of the most popular destinations in Montenegro. This iconic town dates back to the 3rd century BC and is chock full of history. Start your visit with a glute-busting climb to St. John Fortress, which looms above the town. The 1300 stairs will reward you with a bird's eye view of Coter. The imposing mountains surrounding the bay that Kotor is nestled along are on full display from this ancient fortress. Kotor sees increased foot traffic during the day when cruise ships dock here, but you can explore at your own pace and enjoy relative peace once cruisers have flocked back to their floating hotels. Several gorgeous churches and palaces are a feast for the eyes, making it easy to wander Old Town. And for the animal lovers out there, Kotor has its own cat museum dedicated to cat-themed artwork and the love of all things feline. Kotor has a lot of friendly cats roaming the streets, so get ready to say hello to all the four-legged locals whether you visit the museum or not. Number 3. Sveti Stefan this sleepy town was once a fishing village, but has been transformed with tourism into the luxury resort Amen Sveti Stefan. The property has seen celebrities like Marilyn Monroe, Sylvester Stallone, Princess Margaret, and Claudia Schiffer. Visitors who aren't staying at the resort can still wander through the town and check out the four churches on the tiny walled island or enjoy some good old people watching from the public beach directly across from Sveti Stefan. The island is connected to the mainland via a stone walkway and remains an iconic symbol of Montenegro. Even though this town is pegged as a luxury resort, it's more like an exclusive gated community as the courtyards and cobblestone lanes are still intact. Number 2. Budva Budva is one of the more well-known seaside towns, squarely in the middle of Montenegro's coastline. Because it's so heavily traveled, it has a vibrant nightlife with dozens of bars, restaurants, and clubs where you can party until the wee hours of the morning. The region sports 17 beaches, ripe for exploration and relaxation, and greets visitors with warm summers and mild winters. As one of the oldest settlements in the region, it offers a rich cultural history worth investigating. Old Town provides the same grandeur as Dubrovnik in Croatia, but the three-story archaeological museum explores the complicated history of the ancient city. And if you'd like a little adventure, a journey to nearby Sveti Nikola, a rocky island less than a mile from Budva's waterfront, a sheer cliff comprises one side of the island, and a few sandy beaches make up the rest. You can enjoy a meal at the restaurant on the island, and you'll find yourself sharing the island with the only locals, deer. Number 1. Dermator National Park If nature, epic landscapes, and hard-earned views are your primary motivation for travel, look no further than Dermator National Park. This national park is home to Europe's deepest gorge. This natural playground features more than a dozen glacial lakes, the Dermator Massif, and the Terra River, which has carved out the impressive gorge. Rare. Old-growth European black pine trees are on full display in the park, and hundreds of animal species call this place home. If you're lucky, you might spot golden eagles, peregrine falcons, gray wolves, brown bears, and more. You'll even find the largest number of butterfly species anywhere in the world within 
Dermator National Park. You can still enjoy the park if you find yourself here in winter. Snowboarding and skiing are available during the winter, and this park continues to attract visitors year-round. That's a wrap on Montenegro. Which spot are you most excited to see for yourself? Are there any hidden gems that we missed? Did you have any travel tips for visiting Balkan countries? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, let us know by tapping the like button. And consider subscribing to the channel for more travel content if you haven't already. You never know where we'll go next. We might hit up somewhere on your bucket list or inspire you to plan your next trip. Until next time.